pilots say that the right engine won't start. That it aborts the start sequence. So I'm going to set everything up and um, pull the airplane out, do an engine start, and uh, see what's happening. Okay, we're going to try a right hand engine start. See if it even comes up. Okay, it did not start. Well, the engine specialists say that the problem is in the airframe. And the airframe specialists say the problem is in the engine. So, time for me to do my magic. So let's look at the FLIR. The FLIR image shows that the right start bus bar going to the right start relay is a lot hotter. That means it's pulling a lot more amperage than the left during the four second, first four seconds of the start sequence. This is mirrored also by the indication on the ground power unit where it shows that the right engine was pulling a lot more amperage after four seconds than the left hand engine. On the instrument panel, it showed the sequence is still cutting off between four to five seconds. And it doesn't matter what the percentage is, so it's not a percentage-based cutoff, it's a time-based cutoff. After the starter sequence shut down, there was a very weird noise made at the engine itself, which is unusual. Right engine, TFE 731-4 engine. Uh, having problems with it, I'm going to rotate it by hand, and this is what it sounds like. One week later. So here is another problem I found with the why the right engine would not start. This is the uh, 15 amp circuit breaker, you can tell. And even though the button is in, this circuit breaker has popped on the inside. And you can tell by the meter that there is no connection. There is, there's nothing. Okay. There, I moved the button and now I have continuity. Pop the button. So now it seems to be fixed until the next time it pops internally and does not indicate. You know, this type of intermittent problem can really drive you crazy. Who would have thought that a circuit breaker would pop on the inside and yet uh, not indicate it by popping the button out? There we 
we go. The uh, loud noise being made when I turned it by hand was being made by the uh, field control. Oddly enough, they thought maybe it was in this gearbox. Uh, when that was taken apart, it looked brand new. And they uh, troubleshot it and found out that they, the problem is in this uh, fuel control. So this was replaced. And for those of you who are curious of what this sounds like after the repair on the engine, if you remember what it sounded like before, it sounded like this. And now, it sounds like this. Here we go. Very quiet. Okay, time for right engine start. Area is clear. Starter engaged in three, two, one. Starter is engaged. Fuel is on, ignition is on. Oil pressure is coming up. Starter is disengaged. Igniters are disengaged. Nice cool start.